So I'm going on holiday tomorrow on my own. I feel really, really overwhelmed. I'm sure at some point in the week I'll have a mental breakdown. If he wanted to, he would. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. You both are taking a photo for only fans. That's so embarrassing. And I can just do whatever the hell I want. And I'm loving it. Let's just take each second as it comes. Cheers. You being a strong, independent woman. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog. My god, it has been a minute, it really has been a minute and I'm so sorry. Like I think it's been like four months since I've vlogged anything, like the last time I vlogged really and uploaded it was when I went to um, America which was literally back in May I think and it's now fully August. So hi, how have you all been doing? I have absolutely missed doing this so 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 much. I'm, I'm coming back to YouTube guys because it keeps me really busy and entertained. Um, I have been just, my life has been a bit of a roller coaster the last sort of couple of months really to be honest. It's just been so up and down. I'm sure I might maybe go into it a little bit more in the in this vlog. I don't know, it kind of depends where my mind goes and how much I want to sort of let out because right now I just don't really want to talk about stuff because I'm just trying to distract myself. Yeah, my life's just taken, been been very, very up and down, which is why I've just, I've not been focusing it on myself at all and on the things that I love um, and I've just kind of like lost who I, who I am a little bit, which sounds really, really deep and really sad. I'm okay, I'm fine. I was supposed to be going on holiday for my birthday, it's my birthday in two weeks and that like kind of fell through and like, we weren't able to go and then um ah uh, <laughs> like stuff happened which means like i couldn't go on holiday for my birthday um and i was kind of upset about it for a little while and then i thought you know what i'm gonna book a trip on my own so i'm going on holiday tomorrow on my own <laughs> like i'm literally like so stressed like it's ridiculous i've literally just packed now um i hadn't packed until like a couple of hours ago it's like five o'clock right now the day before i go i'm, I'm feeling all sort of emotion like feeling quite sad and quite lonely because like you like it's not like a normal thing to go on holiday on your own I've never been on holiday on my own and I'm not wasn't supposed to be going on my own but I didn't want to miss out on holiday so I booked it on my own and I just yeah like I'm, I'm excited and I think it's gonna go really well and obviously I am like gonna vlog the whole thing because otherwise I wouldn't actually say any words or holiday like I'm sure I'll probably meet some people like I'm going to an all-inclusive hotel basically I'm I only going to Lanzaroy I'm not going to anywhere crazy <laughs> like I'm not about to head to IB for a fucking Barbea or whatever I'm literally just going to Lanzarote I might end up meeting some people thing is that, that everyone's gonna be there in like couples or like families and stuff like that so like I don't think I'm really gonna meet anybody really um like if I met a few friends and like was able to sort of go out and stuff that'd be nice but at the same time like I'm mean, that's not what I'm going I'm going to be on my own and to have some time to myself to be in the sun and and just to clear my head a little bit because just being being in Manchester and being just like here is just making just it's a lot <laughs> I'm really trying hard not to cry right now like I'm holding it in I'm holding it in quite well I'm gonna have some what time is it Alexa what time is it the time is 5:27 p.m can I have dinner at 5 27 p.m because I'm kind of hungry I'll catch you tomorrow when I wake up ready to go to the airport I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous, it's unbelievable. Good morning, everybody. It's holiday day. <laughs> I'm actually really, really excited. I'm, I'm really nervous, but I'm really, really excited. It's literally like seven o'clock right now. I literally woke up 10 minutes ago. 6.50, like how ridiculous is that? Who wakes up at 6.50 on a day off? Like I don't, I didn't need to. Don't need to leave till half 10. In fact, I don't, I really don't need to leave till half 11 to be honest, but I'm gonna leave at half 10 because I'm a stress head. So this is my packing going on here. It's a bit overfilled. Now this suitcase isn't actually that big. Um, I bought it from Primark, but it's actually not that big because my big, big one is broken. So I can't take that. Look at the weather that I'm leaving behind. What a shame. It's a little bit later now. I've got teeth whitening strips in, so if I sound like I've got a lisp, that is why. Um, I've just got out of the shower. <laughs> I've put on my airport outfit. Let me show you. It's literally just a jumpsuit. And then I've got my socks on and my, my slides. I also bought these for the airport, guys, look. Because I want to walk through and no one speaks to me. I can't really hear you very well, actually, with these on. Not hear you, because you're not speaking to me, but I can't hear myself. I just want to, like, walk through the airport and no one speaks to me, do you know what I mean? Like, the whole point of this trip is to be on my own, no one speak to me, no one interrupt me, just be on my own in the sun, eat food, and that's it. I feel like the big headphones scream, don't speak to me. I am pretty much ready. <laughs> I've literally got like an hour until I have to leave. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna eat in a sec. Um, but I'm just trying to close my suitcase. It is a bit full, to be fair. I think it is gonna close. I could put more in. Oh, this is actually going quite nice. Hey, 
I think I've got everything. Woo! Cheers. I'll probably catch you at the airport. Although, am I gonna vlog at the airport? I don't really know. Like, I, you have this like fancy of me walking through the airport, like, guys, I'm at the airport, but that, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I think the most vlogging I'm gonna do at the airport is if I get sat down to have some food at some point. But, no. I'm ready. Have I got my passport? I just need to like double, triple check. I've got this jumper on, which is literally just like a normal jumper. And I know people are going to think that it looks weird, but I saw it on TikTok, like the little hack, and I thought it was cool, so I've gone with it. I think that's just my bag. Right, so of course I said I was going to vlog in the airport, and I definitely didn't do that. I'm now in Lanzarote, guys. I'm here, I've actually made it. The coach that I'm going to get on is right in front of me. I'll let you can hear all the planes. Shop at an airport. Um, yeah, the coach I'm gonna get on is right in front of me um, to take me to my hotel. But I'm the first person here, and there's three flights full of people that are gonna be getting on this thingy. So I, I, I'd imagine I'm probably gonna be waiting here for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. My skin looks very glowy. It almost looks like I've already been the whole day. Yeah, anyway, I think I'm gonna be sat here for a few hours um, with no phone charger. My phone is definitely. I contemplated buying food um, in the airport before I was leaving and I thought actually no, I'm not going to because you know, sometimes these buses go every like 15 minutes and I didn't want to miss one, I just wanted to get one and now I wish I'd bought food and I definitely can't get back into the airport, I don't think to go and grab some so now we're just stuck here. Okay I'm in my hotel room. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Oh my god, it's so stressful. It's not even that stressful. I'm just such an overthinker. It's just ridiculous. But I'm here and I've got my own little apartment and it seems super cute. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour before I go for um, breakfast. I was about to say breakfast, dinner, because we've only got half and like a 45 minutes left of dinner and I'm absolutely starving. So here is the room. You come in through these doors. So I've got my own little like outside area with a view of literally the restaurant. Not the best view. That's that. I've got this situation going on here this might got a tv which is good and then we've got a little kitchen through here now i have got all inclusive but obviously it's quite nice to have a little kitchen to be able to buy myself some little bits and cook some little bits if i want to i wonder if there's anything no nope. and then we come through this is my bedroom beautiful and i've got this mirror here which it's quite a good mirror really um i've got a little wardrobe which will hang up some bits in a second and then that which i don't really want to open that curtain because i'm sure it probably outlooks something quite scary but yeah i've got this huge bed all to myself in fact i think it's two twins you freaking what to be fair i can just spread out i can spread out it's fine and then through here we've got bathroom it's not the the most luxury of holidays but what can you girl afford on her own not that much. This is my little apartment. I'm now going to go and have some dinner because I'm literally starving. The whole dinner thing is like a buffet style thing, like breakfast, lunch and dinner, which I don't really mind. Um, we did sort of drive through the town on the bus to get here though, and this looks like some really nice places. So I'm, I'm going to go like out for dinner in some nice places in town a little bit over the time i'm here god this this holiday on your own thing is terrifying like i don't mind being i like being away but like everyone here is in couples and families you know what i mean and they're gonna be sat there like what is that girl doing do you know what i mean like what is she doing <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing i'm just here i'm just here on my own <laughs> oh, i'm sure it'll like settle in tomorrow once i've done like a full day here it'll like settle in but it just feels a bit weird like who goes on holiday on their own really it's just a bit of a strange thing to do what's the phrase it's not catching flights not feelings because i have very many feelings it's like catching flights to hear the broken heart <laughs> right i'm gonna get some food right so i'm sat out here and it's pretty quiet so <laughs> i get my camera i had some dinner i think i had like i had like rice and like beef stew kind of thing it's actually really nice it's actually quite nice it didn't look so great hence why i didn't show you um and i've also got some wine it's quite nice to have just like like you just pick stuff up and it's just free like yeah it might not be like the nicest thing but it's just free well, not free like obviously i've paid a lot of money to be here but <laughs> it's like it's kind of free these three little cake things which look quite nice but i don't know what they're going to taste like so we'll try i feel like everybody probably does it on the first night that they come here but i literally walked in and i was looking around like i've got no idea where i am i don't know where to go i don't know what door was the entrance door i tried two doors into the like food place before I found the right one which was so embarrassing because everyone inside can hear me trying. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. It's like carrot cake. And I like carrot cake. Guys I did it. I went <laughs> I went for dinner 
on my own in a foreign country in a really busy hotel. I did it. I'm actually really proud of myself. I genuinely am really, really proud of myself. I know that loads of people will think that that's like the easiest thing ever. And I have done it before. I'm just feeling a bit, I'm feeling very fragile at the moment. So I'm proud of myself that I've done that because I would have done that probably like a year ago, but just I've fallen out of being myself recently. So I'm happy that I've done that because I, I just, yeah, I feel really good. Anyway, <laughs> I might maybe tomorrow round in the pool, I might make friends. I don't know. I don't know. Probably not because I feel like I'm a really unapproachable person. Like I've been told that by people before that I'm really unapproachable. Can you also tell that the alcohol has definitely hit me? I've literally had one glass of wine. Okay, looking slightly disheveled. It's boiling in here. I'm trying to get this air con to like be cool, but I don't, like, don't want to wake in the middle of the night and be like absolutely bolted. Do you know what I mean? Right, I've officially unpacked. Let me show you properly. Here's my wardrobe, guys. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I literally love it. I wish my wardrobe could look like this all the time. So these three items are from brands that I need to take photos in. And then I've just got some shirts I can wear like over um, bikinis, a couple of dresses. As I said, like these two are so dressy, but but that one's way too dressy. Unless like I get invited to some disco night, I'm just not gonna wear that. That one could be cute like in the day if I wore it in the town. And then I've got two pairs of beach trousers and this is my airport outfit on the way home. More little like two piece sets, my jumpers at the back, a pair of denim shorts, two little white tees, which is quite good for me because normally I take like six pairs of denim shorts and like 80 white tees, but you know, it's fine. Um, and then I've got my Christian Dior bag, which I just love it. I've got my little orange bag and then I've also got this little bubble bag that I got from Shein. Down here I've got all my bikinis here, got my little PLT bucket hat and my New Balance just normal cap headphones there and then down here I've just got underwear at the back, I've got my gym stuff here, there is a gym in this complex so I'm going to try and go every day and then two other pairs of pyjamas, I'm just going to pop this pair of pyjamas on though now and down here I've got my shoes, I've got my sliders, a pair of heels which realistically I'm probably not going to wear but I bought them anyway, a little pair of sandals and some trainers and then I've got my sunglasses and then my little Prada bag but yeah look how cute! Love it. Right guys, I'm in bed and I'm going to sleep. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna do a little bit of editing and then I'm gonna go to sleep. It's like half nine, I think. <laughs> no, it was late, no, it's later than that, it's definitely later than that. It's quarter past 10, but at home that's like quarter past nine. <laughs> so it's a bit ridiculous, but I'm absolutely knackered. I wanna get this video filmed and I do wanna wake up early in the morning. Our breakfast isn't till eight. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm such an early bird. <laughs> I literally am such an early bird. I don't know what time the gym opens. To be honest, I'll go and get breakfast at eight o'clock and then I can ask someone what time the gym opens. Catch you in the morning. Um, I just feel really overwhelmed. I feel really, really overwhelmed. I'm sure at some point in the week I'll have a mental breakdown. But currently I just feel really happy. I'm just proud of myself. I don't know, I just feel like I've actually done it. So, I mean, everyone says I'm gonna go on holiday on my own when they're heartbroken and stuff, but it's like, I've actually done it. And right now it feels good. I'm sure at some point I'll have a breakdown. Good morning. <laughs> I've woken, sorry. I've woken up here on my own and I just feel so weird. I just feel so strange. I know people are probably gonna be like watching and thinking like, it's not that strange, grow up. But like, it, it is strange. Trust me, it's very strange. I've actually had loads of messages on Instagram like, since I put on my story and stuff that I was here on my own. Like loads of people were just like, no way, you're there on your own. I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> yep, fully am. Everybody's like going really lovely and just saying that like they're really, like, I think it's really cool and they're really proud. So that's quite nice. Now I know that it's really bad to drink like foreign water, but there's no water in here. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna boil the kettle, put it in my bottle and then put the bottle in the freezer for a bit. I know I could probably just go and get breakfast. Like by now it's half, it's half seven. I did, I, I woke up today about 10 past six, which our time is 10 past five. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've also got a banging headache, which is why I'm trying to get some water in me. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna boil the kettle because that will hopefully get rid of any of the bad things in the water and then I'm gonna put it in my bottle and put it in the freezer. I'm hoping that's gonna work. So I've got this bottle that I had on the plane. Oh, it's hot on my hand. Oh shit, it's melting the bottle. Hey fuck. Oh my god, it's melted the bottle. Melted the bottle, it's made it go in a weird shape. I mean, what did I expect putting boiling hot water in a fucking bottle? What am I, what is wrong with me? Right, I've had breakfast. Um, it's actually quite a nice breakfast, actually. I might show you a little bit more tomorrow. But I'm gonna go to the gym, because I just walked over and found it. It did say something that I've gotta go and get a key from reception, though, so I'm gonna go and do that. I've got my little gym set on, and I've got my little bag with my towel and my bottle in it and stuff. People have already put like towels and stuff on the sunbeds, and I don't know, like, ah, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I just don't know what to do. I don't, like, I don't, I might rent a, be a beach towel as well. They said that you can rent beach towels for like a 10 pound, and obviously you give them back at the end of the thing. I'm just, I feel like a lost puppy. I really feel like a lost puppy. Guys, I need to share this, because 
<laughs> I've literally got the gym to myself. Like I've, I reckon someone will probably come in at some point. But basically, you have to get. I think did I say you have to go get the key from the reception to come in here. Um, and then this is this is the gym. There's no one in here. Like I've literally got the whole thing to myself. Like kettlebells, weights, balls, row machines. A barber, which I don't have in my gym at home, which is perfect. And obviously some weights on here too. Cycling machines, treadmills. Guys, I'm in my element. Sorry, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Um, now, somebody might end up coming in because it is still quite early. What's this contraption? Looks like something you might use in the bedroom. What is that? I don't ever use a barbell because I don't have it in my gym at home. So, and I'm really nervous to go to a big gym where they have them because I don't know what I'm doing. So I can learn what I'm doing here and then I can take my skills home with me. Also, there's a huge telly. I wonder if I can get it turned on. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath, Ella. Don't come for me for the fact there's literally no weight on it, okay? I can't squat that much and I'm not even gonna lie about it. Right, I'm done. Oh, I only did like 45 minutes, but it gets so hot. I'm so hot. I'm gonna go and get in a bikini and go lie by the pool. I'm really hoping that all the sun lounges aren't gone. If they are, then I'm gonna go down to the beach, but I might just like put one of my towels on the, on the sunbed when I walk past now. Guys, <laughs> no freaking way, right? <laughs> I've, been, I've got home, obviously, and I've put my bikini on. Now, I've been outside my balcony where everyone can see me, um, taking some photos for Instagram, um, and some, some Spanish people just walked past like a fully old man. Um, and obviously they spoke Spanish and he said something in Spanish and then at the end of it he said only fans. No. <laughs> he was taking a photo for only fans. That's embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. Look at this setup I've got going on here, guys. I'm literally just to take some Instagram photos. I can't believe it. I've actually come on holiday on my own and I've actually forgotten my tripod. So now I have to use pans and books and everything to make a makeshift tripod so that I can take some photos. Who'd have thought it? I've got no idea what you can see because I can't see you. I've been getting a few cocktails because obviously it's all inclusive. I've never actually done an all inclusive holiday before. So it just feels a bit weird to me that I just go up to the bar and I buy a drink and then I don't buy it, I just have it. I think lunch is on between half one and three. I don't know, no, between one and three. I think it's like half one now or something like that. So I'm gonna lie out here for like another half an hour. I'm not hungry yet, to be honest. Um, I had breakfast. Did I even show you my breakfast? No, I didn't. I'll show you tomorrow, but I had breakfast, but um, and I don't normally eat breakfast, so I'm not actually that hungry for lunch as of yet. Or maybe I might take a walk into like the town so I know sort of where I'm going, or maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I don't know, I'm very indecisive, but at the same time it doesn't really matter because it's just me and I can just do whatever the hell I want. And I'm loving it. Right, so I am um, sat about to have some lunch. Um, I just got a glass of wine. Now you have to go up to the bar to get a glass of wine. Now, obviously you have these wristbands which are different colours. The ones that are dark but you can drink, the ones that are light but you can't drink. Um, I asked for a glass of white wine and he looked at me and he went, can you drink, how old are you? Instead of 22 next week. And he went, what? You look 16. And I was like, thanks, it's just what I want to hear. That's really just what I want to hear. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I've just got some vegetables. This is like aubergine, courgette, and some peppers, a little bit of salad, and some chicken, and my wine. I'm just gonna sit here. I don't know why. Nobody eats outside. Everybody eats inside. Like, there's loads of tables inside, and there's probably like 15 tables outside. And currently, there's me and one other person sat outside. I don't get it. I don't get it, but you can probably hear that really now noise. I've got I've no idea what it is. I feel like it just might be like the air conditioning for the whole resort or something like that. I'm not really so I went in the pool like to take all the oil that I had on me off before I came here. And then I put these trousers on and my wet bikini bottoms has made my trousers wet and it looks like I've wet myself. But this is the kind of thing that you can deal with when you're with someone because you just don't care. You walk around and you just don't give a shit, but when you're on your own you care a little bit more. I'm back in my bedroom after the first day. Burnt my face a little bit. 
Right, I'm gonna get in the shower now. Put some moisturiser on. I actually haven't got much moisturiser. I forgot to bring my like big thing of moisturiser. So like, I'm gonna try and see if I can find a supermarket or a pharmacy or something that's gonna find that's gonna find some for me. No, I need to find it myself. It's gonna sell some for me. I've had a few cocktails. I think I've probably had like five cocktails over the space of today, then a glass of wine. Like I don't feel drunk, I just feel a bit Hello. I was gonna say I'm contemplating whether to put makeup on or not, but now I've turned this on, I'm 110% put makeup on because I look grim. I look gross. Normally you look nice on holiday, but I look gross. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on, then I'm just gonna go for a bit of a walk. I've got this little set on. So this set is from Catch Me, I think. Right, I'm off. I'm ready and I'm going. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going out. <laughs> I feel like a couple of people, I was putting some stories on my private Snapchat story just because, because why the hell not? And some people messaged me like, oh, are you going out? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I am leaving the house, yes, but I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I've got no idea. Just, just take each second as it comes. Is that locked? Probably. Guys, I apologise for the wind if it's windy. Also, this shot is very backlit, but there's not really much I can do about it because I'm sat facing this way. Um, I bought some sorbet. I came, basically, I've come on a little walk. Because um, I literally haven't left the hotel yet. I'm mean, going to say that I've been there less than 24 hours, but I haven't left the hotel yet, so I thought I'd come on a quick walk. And I've actually walked quite far, to be fair. I'm going to have to turn around and go back the other way soon because I actually think I'm quite far away from where I'm staying now. Um, but anyway, I picked up some sorbet, one pineapple, one mango scoop, and I have to say it's unreal. It's so, so, so nice. Just walked past an Indian restaurant, I think it's Indian, which I'm going to go in in a minute and just get a couple of little bits, like either just some starters or some sides, something like that, because I'm not that hungry. Obviously, I've just eaten this. I kind of wish I'd done it the other way around, but oh well. There were some people down there playing with the ball, but they're not playing with the ball anymore. And then we've also got this um, this little love chain um, thing here, which is cute. If I had someone to put it on, it's kind of breaking my heart a little bit. Right, so come sit down at a restaurant. I'm not going to get a main because I'm not going to be able to eat a main to be quite honest with you. I'm just going to get two starters, I think. And I'm going to get a glass of wine though because a girl needs to treat herself, do you know what I mean? They've also brought over this. Yeah, just for me. <laughs> right, my food's come. The guy that put it down, he put one of them at my side and one of them at the other side. And I just like drag it across the table because there's no one sat there. It's quite embarrassing actually, but look. So I literally just got two starters. This one is like a um, like platter thing. I don't know. It's got a couple of different bits on it, and then this is like chicken. So I'm just gonna like dig it back. To be fair, I could eat just one of these and be full. So that's definitely enough. Back in the comfort of the hotel. Not gonna lie, that was the most out of, com out of my comfort zone thing I've done since I've been here. Um, like walking around isn't that bad because it's like I'm just walking around as if I was walking around in Manchester. Do you know what I mean? But. It really highlighted the fact I was on my own because there is not a single person there out there that is on their own. Like everyone is like with partners or like families and stuff like that. I've been out for dinner on my own before. It doesn't really bother me, but it's more like it's such a family setting that it was just a bit strange. But you yeah, know, these things have got to be done. There was a lot of um, a lot of creepy men in Manchester as well. I've actually been watching a tick this TikTok guy. I can't remember what women's uh, self defence or something like women's defence or something like that. And he basically shows like loads of different ways how to self how to defend yourself if someone's trying to grab you. It's actually really good. I actually highly recommend it if you're going to travel on your own anyway. Cheers to being a strong independent woman. Because when I'm in a relationship, I literally put everything, my all, my literal everything into a person. Like, they are my literal world. As soon as I don't have that person, I then have all of that energy and all of that love to put into myself. And I feel it, like I, I like I feel the difference. And for a short period of time, I feel like, no, I actually really, really like being single because I put all that love into myself and I've got a lot of love to give and I give it all to myself and I'm not with someone. So that's quite a nice feeling, but then should, that feeling goes quite quickly because because I have a lot of love to give, I want someone to, to have it. Um, but something I do struggle with is just why no one wants to give it back. Like, I mean, I just, I guess I wish, I wish I had the answer. I mean, I guess everybody wishes they had the answer, but like, how can, how can a person like me as a person love someone so much? I just, just love someone just so much. I can't actually sort of describe how much. And then them not, them not love you back. Well, not that they don't love you back, but they're not want to give you it back. Like, I'm literally so, like, all for the, this, like, if, if he wanted to, he would, though. Like, I, I'm, 
so believe that. Like, if he wanted to, he would. So what am I doing begging and asking for someone to do something that clearly he doesn't want to do because otherwise he would have done it. <laughs> like, it's just stupid. And if he wanted to, Ella, he would have done it. And he didn't. So that's your answer. Like, well, like that's your answer. You don't need to go any, any further. Like, yeah, I don't know. Deep chat over. I'm gonna drink this wine and then I'm gonna go to bed. Look at my tan lines. Whoa. I did have a mini breakdown last night. I did have a mini breakdown. I don't think I filmed it. It was like really mini, really mini, but I kind of got back up off of well. I didn't get, get back up, I fell asleep and then I forgot about it in the morning, but yeah, mini, mini breakdown number one has happened, but. We're all human, guys, we're all human. I guess we this was coming at some point. <sighs> this whole trip is just so bittersweet. Like it's so, like I feel so happy and I feel, so, like I feel so content. Just wish I wasn't here on my own. <laughs> I just think tonight was just a little bit difficult. Like, like going out. I guess in the town there's people like walking up and down the streets and along the beach I sat for dinner like got ready to look nice for like the evening with their like with their partner <sighs> I'm very strong and I'm very independent but there's just some things it's just like it's kind of like an envy thing I guess like I don't know, you just look at people and just think like, why? <laughs> like, why can't I have that? Like, why don't... Why don't I deserve that? <laughs> That's really hard. All anybody wants is just to be happy, isn't it? Like, I think it's so difficult after so many times that you've heard the same thing. How can I always deserve better? Like, how, how's that? Like, when you just give me better, I don't get it.